Let's talk about tracking changes. Now, tracking changes is a legacy feature. It's an old school feature from Excel. It doesn't play nice with the new comment thread. So before you start using tracking changes, you need to go in and delete all your comments if you have any. You could easily do that by hitting Control A to highlight the entire sheet. And then on the review tab, you would hit delete comments, all right? Now track changes, why would I use it if it's an old feature? Well, because if we share something to OneDrive, OneDrive will take care of versioning, but it won't take care of showing you the itemized changes that were made within the spreadsheet. So it'll say like Carlos Perez changed or modified this document on this date at this time, but it's not gonna tell me that, hey, Carlos changed the value in cell A6 to this or you know what have you. In order to see that, I have to turn on change tracking. And in order to turn on change tracking, I have to enable it in the quick access toolbar. Now I already have it displayed here. Let me show you how I got it. Uh, I went to more commands. And if I go to all commands and take a look at the T's, I'm going to see track changes legacy sitting right there. All right, so I can add that in. Once it's in the toolbar, I'm gonna to click on it and I can hit highlight changes. Now this is gonna look exactly the same uh, as what you would have done in the past. Of course, we could also add this into a custom grouping in the ribbon if we wanted to do so. Um, I would recommend maybe making a group called legacy commands and putting all those into that group if that was something that you wanted to do. So I'm gonna say track changes while editing. Cool, I'm gonna track all changes. I'm gonna highlight them on screen. Click OK, this is gonna share the workbook. I'll click OK. It is now shared and changes are being tracked. So if I start making changes places, it's going to go ahead and highlight like so, showing me that the change was made. If I hover my mouse over that cell, it is going to tell me what that change happens to be. So that is awesome. And this way we can have an itemized list of changes throughout our spreadsheet and be able to see exactly what's going on. So if you couple that together with versioning, you have a very, very powerful tool.